right now in homes and sports bars all across the DMV, there's something very interesting happening. Commanders fans, Washington fans are rewiring their brains because they've got to finally understand this team is good. The old House of Horrors stuff you hear about the Meadowlands, Washington just can't win up in the swamps of New Jersey, ends up they can. They can with some breathing room and they can get to seven and two for the first time since 1996. I'm having the time of my life right now. I'm really enjoying just the process, the work we're putting in each and every week, um, the challenges that we face this season, and um, just continue to get better. You know, each week is different, but we're finding ways to win in different ways, and that's what we're going to need if we want to make a playoff push. There's games that we're supposed to win. This is one of them. Um, and just trying to find ways to get better. You know, I know we're 7-2. I know there's a lot of positivity. I know there's a lot of things, but, um, you know, you always try to look for things that you can get better at, but also enjoy uh, these wins that you get because they're, they're very hard. That's a good team over there. There's not really blowouts in this division. They usually, you know, a three to ten point swing, you know, so uh, we just got to con continue to um, go to work every day and continue to put our best foot forward every day and just keep honing, on, honing in on the details. I hope the team from week nine would, you know, knock the hell out of the team from week two and showing that demonstrated improvement and uh, we've got to prove that, you know, that we have gotten better in a lot of areas. Making the win against the Giants even more impressive, the offense got it done without star running back Brian Robinson. Anytime we can get the run game going, uh, it's a big thing for us. It opens up a lot of other things in the offense, and we got full confidence in, in the whole running back room. Uh, you know, C-Rod, J-Mac. J-Mac's been running his ass off all year, so, you know, uh, nothing short today. Offensive line doing a great job. You know, receivers that are willing to get in there and get dirty, get in there and block, and so that's all what comes into having a great running game. Um, and also having Jaden who can run as well, now they have to guard an extra defender. You can see earlier in the year when Eckler was out, um, and you know, Jay Mac came in and did his thing. Uh, B Rob out, and you know, Jay Mac, Egg, Chris Rodriguez came in and did their thing. Um, that's just next man up mentality, you know, doesn't matter when. Uh, our coach staff does a tremendous job of bringing confidence into the players, no matter if you're the starter or practice squad, the practice squad guy, you never know when your number might get called. And a team doesn't get to 7-2 without a total team effort. But man, having a quarterback like Jaden Daniels sure helps. It's just like playing out there in the backyard. You know, he, he won a win, he had that competitive nature. And at the end of the day, you know, it trickulates through all of us. I think he's getting a feel for everything, understanding the, the, the defense is a little bit better and, and finding ways to attack him and finding ways to be more creative. And so uh, it's fun to watch his growth. There's not a play Jaden goes out there and doesn't have answers. Um, so I think that speaks volume of the coaching staff. Also just Jaden, he's sub poised. He's the same guy we saw in April when, when he first came out here after we drafted him number two overall. Um, and I'm thrilled he's our guy. He's playing the position well, uh, not just throwing it well. And so. When do I hand it? When do I give it? How do I use the clock? I'm getting down to slide. And so those things, I see him growing and getting stronger as it goes. And so that, to me, is one of the things I've been most impressed about is like playing the position. And how about veteran wide receiver Terry McLaurin? Now, remember, he was drafted by Washington back in 2019. So he's been through the darkest times till now where Washington is winning and he's a huge part of the success. McLaurin scored two touchdowns in the Sunday win over the Giants, giving him six on the year. That's more touchdowns this year than he had all of last year, and they've only played nine games. One more note on Terry, he became just the 10th player in franchise history to score 30 career touchdowns. Pretty cool. Cover the Commanders from the Meadowlands. I'm J.P. Finley.